Alright, today's pet spotlight will be on the Bone Serpent. A really good tier 1 pet. Uh, where do you get the Bone Serpent? Well, you get him from the tamer that sometimes shows up to your uh, pet menagerie in your garrison. Uh, you can only do the pet tamer that shows up randomly once per day. So if he comes on different, you know, if you have a pet menagerie in all your garrisons on your alts, you can only actually do the quest once per day. Uh, the person you defeat is really easy. You can take him out with pretty much any team you have because some of the teams aren't even, like some of the pets aren't even level 25 and some of them aren't even rare quality. So they're really easy to beat. Uh, and you just get the Bone Serpent randomly. You also have a chance to get the Silver Shock Elver and one other pet, I don't remember. But since he's a pretty easy pet to obtain, you can also just buy it from really cheap on the auction house. Uh, what breed do you want? Uh, all four breeds are fine. They're all pretty good. The HH breed is probably the best. Power Speed breed is the hardest hitting one. Uh, the SS breed uh, is probably the worst of all of them, but still good because it still hits, it has over 300 power. Uh, it's 292 speed is not very fast, but it's still faster than a lot of slow pets, so you'll be able to gain the benefit of a fast pet if you use it. You're just going to get outsped by all the other fast pets. And its balance, balance breed is even pretty good because it has a baseline, at, I mean health. 1400 is a normal amount of health. It has 325 attack power, which is the normal amount for a power power type actually, uh, but it's slow. It only has 244 speed. That's that's really slow. The balance balance is still. It's basically like having a, a power power type, kind of like the Kier's Wolvar pup. See, he has 325 attack power and he's a power power type. The balance balance type for the Bone Serpent has 325 attack power with 1400 health, which is pretty baseline for that. It's just kind of slow. Bone Serpent's kind of slow, but you don't need him for his speed because he has the overpowered. Uh, undead racial where he comes back for a turn so he's gonna get, be able to get off two more abilities. Uh, the best way to use Bone Serpent is with Bone Barrage, Call Darkness, and Nocturnal Strike. You can also take Consume Corpse, Death and Decay, and Lift Off if you want, but it's not as good as Bone Serpent. I mean, the, his Call Darkness combo. The way you use him, since all of his abilities have a cooldown, so uh, you want to use Bone Serpent, I mean Bone Barrage in between his Call Darkness and Nocturnal Strike. So you start off with Bone Barrage, then you go Call Darkness, then you use Bone Barrage again because it'll be off cooldown, then you use Nocturnal Strike, and then you'll be able to use Bone Barrage one more time. If you do it this way, you'll go five turns before you go to a turn where you can't use any abilities because all of them will be on cooldown. If you don't do that and you just go Call Darkness, Nocturnal Strike, and then Bone Barrage, uh, after three turns you'll have a turn where you can't do anything because all your abilities will be on cooldown. So, the Bone Barrage uh, weaving in between your other two abilities is usually the best way to do it because you'll be able to survive five turns before going to a turn where all your abilities will be on cooldown. You'll be forced to switch out or just forced to pass for the turn. Uh, I, I like to do the Bone Barrage, but the other one, there can be a case made for that too where you just use Call Darkness, Nocturnal Strike, and Bone Barrage uh, because that does the most amount of damage in the shortest amount of time and then you can just simply switch him out after those three turns. Uh, he is kind of squishy though, so there's a chance he'll probably die before he even gets off three abilities if you're going against someone who has critter type moves. In which case you probably should switch him out anyway, in which case it's also fine just to go the three moves and then switch out way. If you know he's going to be able to survive for a few turns, uh, considering he is undead and you know he's going to survive those extra two turns because you just accepted that he's going to die, do the, the bone barrage weaving. Uh, the other way to play him. I guess if you don't want to go call darkness and you want to use him for some reason, uh, consume also has a cooldown on it. One one turn cooldown and bone barrage is better. It does more damage. It does quite a bit of damage too. That's actually a uh, bone barrage is one of the reasons why he's actually better than crows. Uh, crows uh, are one are the only other pet in the game besides. There's one other pet who can also use nocturnal strike. Nocturnal strike is just a really hard hitting single target ability. Uh, but its downside is that it only has a 50% chance to hit. So unless you're using like an Axe Beak who's able to use Rain Dance and increase your chance to hit by 50%, uh, it has a 50-50 chance of actually hitting, which is pretty bad. That's why you use Call Darkness in order to blind your opponent, because it treats all pets as blinded, which gives Nocturnal Strike a 100% chance to hit. Well, I mean, it's increased 100%. It gets reduced by another 10% because of Call Darkness, so it actually only has a 90% chance to hit under Call Darkness, so there is a chance it'll miss. But Call Darkness itself also is just a really hard-hitting ability. 
it hits for about 500 damage. So if you hit with Call Darkness and Nocturnal Strike, that's about 1200 damage. Throw in a Bone Barrage and that's enough to finish, finish off any uh, normal health pet that has around 1400 health. Or if you do the Bone Weave and you're going to kill them as soon as the Nocturnal Strike goes out. It is a lot of damage. Uh, the only other pets who are able to actually use Nocturnal Strike by themselves with no other pets are Crows, uh, the Axe Beaks, and the Dread Hatchling, which is another tier 1 pet because he's a power power type. 337. Uh, the Bone Serpent actually hits harder than him. Wow. Yeah, Bone Serpent's better than the Dread Hatchling. But Dread Hatchling is the only actual bird type who is able to use Call Darkness Nocturnal Strike that's not a crow. He's also a lot better just because he hits a lot harder. And his health is pretty high. It's above 1400. The crows also have above 1400 health. Yeah, a couple of them have even higher health than that. But none of them can hit as hard as the Dread Hatchling or the Bone Serpent. Bone Serpent is just kind of OP, actually. He's really good. You can just run a team of three Bone Serpents and win, even if your opponent has all critters, just because they do so much damage. And the racial is seriously so OP. <laughs> no one, none of the other racials come close to how OP the, the Undead racial is. Bone Serpent has all the qualities of a crow, but with none of the downsides of being squishy or being slow below 50% health because he's just always slow. Uh, but then again, crows are situationally useful as well, and he usually pairs up with crows pretty well. Uh, but you can also just run triple bone serpents and do totally fine. All right, now let's let's show the bone serpent in in battle. All right, so this is a fun thing to start off with. Uh, it looks like they have weather changing abilities, and I don't really get the the tainted waveling here. But bone serpents is a good one to start off with. I'm gonna start off straight with bone barrage. I'm just gonna do my bone weaving since it looks like he might uh, his sandstorm can actually screw me over if he gets that off uh, after I get my call darkness out Ooh, luckily he's gonna start off the sandstorm all right that actually works out really well for me now let's go into the sandstorm to reduce the damage his healing from his racial and that way my bone barrage does its full damage uh oh I got stunned that's bad luck uh, should I just switch out right now? If I go into my crow, will he be able to kill him in a turn? He might be able to. Nocturnal Strike to 600 damage, and... Alright, looks like he has his Blossoming Ancient out instead. Um, okay, so. Nocturnal Strike doesn't actually work against elementals. Because they're not counted as blinded. So, he's actually like one of my worst matchups. I literally just have to wait for him to use sunlight to change his weather back on him to call darkness. There's sunlight. And let's change it back on him. I already know I can't uh, use nocturnal strike on him, so I'm not even going to try. Ugh, iron bark, that's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass for uh, multi-hit moves like alpha strike. I should still be able to kill him now, uh, even under photosynthesis and iron bark, just because uh, darkness is out. Oh fuck, I missed. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> I needed to hit all of them. <laughs> Come on, Alpha Strike, don't miss again. As long as you don't miss, you'll be able to kill him. Literally, that's all you gotta do is just not miss. All right, come on, don't miss. Don't miss again. If you didn't miss that other time, he would be dead already. See, so look at he got. He has to go into a photosynthesis. Now, just don't miss right here, and he's, he's dead. He's dead if you just don't miss. Ah. Ah, now he's in the his wavelength. Um, let's see. There's a 50-50% chance I'll go first. If I don't go first, I'm screwed, so let's go into the Frost for Rat. Whew. All right, what does he have? Corrosion. Uh, that's fine. Looks like I'm a little bit faster than him, so let's just go for a crouch this turn. Looks like he went for a heal. Uh, I don't remember doing any damage to him. How did he take damage? Did I do an, an AoE? I don't think so. Uh-oh. Looks like he has Poison Spit. Luckily, the damage it does is elemental, which I actually take less damage from, but the application of itself is pretty, pretty big. Uh, sneak attack doesn't do the extra damage since he's also elemental. Elemental types. Ugh. 
Ugh, they suck. Oh, his blossom and ancient. He was able to switch it out. Then he's healing up in the back row. Whatever. No, uh, he's actually Frostfur Rat has the worst matchup against his entire team because my opponent is uh, has two elementals, <laughs> which sucks. <laughs> sucks for me. All right, now let's go into the Bone Serpent. Uh, Bone Serpent's a little bit slower than him. I should be able to get off a Call Darkness and a Bone Barrage on him before kicking the bucket. So I'm gonna go with Call Darkness first to see if I can get a kill before using Bone Barrage. <gasps> oh, cool, he wasn't able to kill me right off the bat. This actually works out well for me. Uh, as long as he goes into, ooh, this guy, that's what I wanted. Let's go for a Nocturnal Strike to finish him off because Nocturnal Strike only works against the Anubis Sap Idol <laughs> and not the other guy. Awesome. Now I'll be able to use a Bone Barrage. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything on my turn of immunity, but that's fine as long as I get off my Bone Barrage. He's able to heal up for quite a bit in the back row. Ugh. He's going to get heal up for a lot too. Damn it. Really wish. <laughs> uh, he's going to heal up for 200 right there. All right, now I need to survive for two turns. Can I do it? Can I survive for two turns? Will this be enough to kill him? <gasps> oh, that was lucky. <laughs> what an annoying matchup. Luckily, Bone Serpent was OP enough to carry that for me. Oh, seriously, going against Elementals is the worst with a Nocturnal Strike team. Uh, but it, it, it worked out, even the Nubisath Idol, that was just a really bad matchup for me, but I still... It, it, it was a bad matchup for me, but it was also a bad matchup for him since his team relied on healing, and my team cuts healing in half, so it kind of evened itself out.